salvation. This is 750 years before Christ came to this earth. 750 years, Isaiah was prophesying what Jesus Christ would do for us. And that is to save us. That is to save us. In John 1.14, I read to you John 1.1 1, 1 before, right? In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. John 1.14 says that the word became flesh. That Jesus Christ was the be at the beginning with God, was God, and is now, and he now came in the flesh. And we are the only religion, we are the only religion that can proclaim a living God. The only one on this earth that can proclaim a living God. We have Jesus Christ. He's in our hearts. When Jesus Christ left to be with the Father, he left the counselor. He left the Holy Spirit to live within us, to warn us, to teach us, to guide us. It is time to turn to God. There is no tomorrow. If you walk out of here and you have a heart attack, where are you going today? To hell. If you walk out of here without accepting Christ, where are you going? To hell. There's a sign up to my right. He says, do you know where you're going after you die? You're going to hell. There's only two places to go. Either go to heaven or you go to hell. And I ask you today, soften up your hearts. Do not allow the enemy to corral you. Do not allow the enemy to keep you in chains. Do not allow the enemy to keep you in bondage. Today is the day that you can say, I am free. I am free. I was telling a couple of uh, the men from Living Worth a little while ago, uh, from uh, uh, Living Worth, right? I was telling them that I have a coin that I gave to this young lady one time that says in the front, many have died for our freedom, but only one has died for our salvation. Okay? We have to honor the men and women who go into law enforcement, who go into the army, who go into the Marines, who go into the Navy, who go into the Air Force to protect us. And they do a great job of keeping us safe. But they can't save us from the enemy. We have a very powerful enemy that roams around this world. Only one can save us from that, and that's Jesus Christ. He died for our salvation. He rose again on the third day and is now with the Father where he has prepared a place for us, the Bible says. Amen. If you're hearing these words, if these words are touching your hearts today, Please come forward. Just stand up. Don't be embarrassed. I did it once. Don't be embarrassed. Just stand up and come forward. Jesus Christ is calling you today. There's one, only one reason why you're here today. That's because Jesus is calling you. There's only one reason why you're sitting here today or standing in the back listening to these words. is because God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Whoever comes here, up here, might think of themselves as being a coward, but it's totally, it's the total opposite, right? If you stand up here today, you will be strong. If you come up here today and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. You know, the day I became a Christian, I came running to my house, told my wife, my kids, then I couldn't wait to tell everybody else what Christ had done for me. And I've never looked back. That day was March 20th, 1999. Today is July 30th, 2016. Today can be the day of your birth. March 20th, 1999 is the day of my birth. That's when Jesus called me. If you don't want to come up here, when I finish here, you can approach me, you can reach me, there's a prayer table in the back. I'll be there. And I will pray with you. I will pray with you. Amen? Amen. Let's pray.
Gracious Lord and Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, to thank you, Father, for this opportunity. I pray, Lord, that the hearts that you have touched today, O oh Lord, and I know that there's hearts that have been touched, that they don't neglect this call. Don't, don't neglect the fact that you're calling them today and don't reject the fact that you are reaching out to them today, Lord. I hope and pray, Father, that they just stand up. Stand up like the good soldiers that were supposed to be for you. And that they can pick up that weapon, which is the Holy Bible, and say, today I will give my life to you, Lord. Bless the Lord and Heavenly Father for those of us, O oh Lord, who have accepted you. Those of us who are living, O oh Lord, the life that you have set for each and every one of us, O oh Lord. We know that you have plans for us, O oh Lord. We know that you have plans for us of prosperity, O oh Lord, not of failure. We know that we are to rejoice with you, Lord, no matter what happens to us, no matter the circumstances. We're in this world passing through, but you have a better place for us. And that place has no end. We know, Lord, that we will be spending eternity with you, worshiping you and glorifying your holy name. And we thank you today for that opportunity. Lord, I just pray that you soften up the hearts of those who are who are missing out on that opportunity today. That you touch them, O oh Lord. And that they can feel your Holy Spirit deep inside of them, asking them to stand up. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, we want to uh, have uh, Kenny Day come on up. Kenny, where are you? Kenny Day is going to come up and minister a couple of songs here. Uh, he was a former, uh, he was at the Good Shepherd Mission, right? You, you were here? In, in the 90s, he was here. Uh, Lord uh, used this place to, to transform his life, and now he's going to come back uh, to minister. And uh, I just want to give a hand of applause to uh, Kenny Day.